your last comment to Chawa? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, uh, first of all, I'm in awe of uh, um, you know, what I'm seeing in front of me here. But I just want to talk about culture and uh, the society we have today. For instance, we talk about um, women being more empathetic, men being different. And that could be because of what is it, what, what's expected of women and what's expected of men. And also, there are certain things that are expected of children. Now, if those expectations are changed completely, um, do you think we would have a lot more children like you in the world if we changed the culture or the way we, we, we operate in the world and say, okay, look, maybe my nine-year-old should, should actually start looking at calculus because we shouldn't infantilize children um, because that's what they, what's expected of, of children. Maybe women would be different if we didn't expect them to automatically um, um, gravitate towards, towards children. Maybe they would be different. Margaret Thatcher, for instance, I think you were referring to the Falklands War. She did start a war. <laughs> and, and, and she was notorious for the way she dealt with unions in the UK. So what I'm saying is we might have a completely different world if we change our expectations of children, our expectations of women, and then our expectations of, 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 uh, of men as a whole. So I just wanted to get your, your thoughts on that. That's quite powerful. Very. very interesting. So first of all, I know Thatcher wasn't very empathetic to the Argentinians. That was my mistake. But uh, second, I think that uh, children should not be underestimated. We should not think of them as infantile. We should, uh, we should not limit their skills based on their age. But we should also not overestimate them. We shouldn't make them feel overwhelmed. Otherwise, they will just fail. They will just faint. And I uh, honestly, uh, and I honestly think that if other children were held up to my uh, my standards, the standards that I have right now, then it would be honestly overwhelming. We should not underestimate children's talent. Too many children's talents have been wasted. And in fact, uh, I think that uh, their uh, development is hindered if we don't uh, uh, to show them that they have their own talents and things like that. Uh, what the, uh, Dr. Mabunda taught, touched on earlier. But I think that children shouldn't be underestimated. They should not be limited based on their age. They should be limited based on how well you teach them. So the, um, I think that their development, uh, for example, I uh, was ready to go to fourth grade, but uh, my t principal decided to test what level I was on or what the grade level test, and you can guess what happened. And so they... <laughs> 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 And so, and so I decided to take, and so I decided to take the average of fourth grade and my score. And so I decided to go all the way to eighth grade because I wanted to take the spelling bee, but I also wanted to. Uh, so I wanted to take the spelling bee, but I also wanted to make my school day a bit harder because I didn't want to just sit around in a fourth uh, fourth grade classroom all day feeling just really bored. So I went to eighth grade. Uh, so I went to eighth. Grade. And the thing is, that shows that just because me or another child in nine doesn't mean their education or their development should be limited to the fourth grade curriculum. They shouldn't be underestimated, but they also should not be overestimated. If you have a child and you don't teach them well, and then you just throw them into some kind of, well, if you, if you throw them into some kind of tournament or spelling bee, you don't expect them to do well because you didn't teach them well. You have to have a good, uh, you have to have a good teacher in order to get a good education. And I feel that that's what school does. It uh, just pushes you into, uh, most schools just push you into really bad classes. And then what they do is to take a, a really over expectation from you. So the thing is, they have your over expectation.
decent. And in fact, I have seen so many. Uh, I have seen so many comments saying, "Imagine what is happening to his cousins, uh, who are expected to be just like him." Yeah. Uh, so you shouldn't underestimate children, but you shouldn't overestimate them too. So I think that's a very uh, interesting topic.